modern great power competition as not a clash of civilizations, but as a clash of governance systems. Right? This is freedom versus authoritarianism. Trump 政府上台后发表美国国家安全战略报告，重提大国竞争概念，并称中国为战略竞争对手。两周前，近百名美国前官员、学者和商界人士发表一封题为《中国不是敌人》的公开信，批评川普政府对华强硬政策，引发强烈争议。很多学者认为，信中实际在支持已经失败的对华绥靖政策，并且没有分清中国与中共。China is not the enemy. The Communist Party is. The Chinese Communist Party uses tactics, you know, united front tactics, Confucius Institutes, and other uh, ways of organizing Chinese students abroad, uh, running Chinese influence and information operations abroad, and they've taken advantage of open societies to project CCP influence. 学者弗勒认为，腐败是专制国家特征，民主国家和专制政权的经济纠葛将导致各方面安全风险和经济不公，因此必须减少接触。他还警告美国政商界，中共专制的严重腐败和不透明性。很可能导致其随时垮台。So we just woke up one day in 1991, and the Soviet Union was no longer there, and we didn't know why. And it took years after looking back to find out that oh, it was the depths of corruption that led from a socialist system. It's my fear that that could be happening in China right now, and we don't know it because they don't have a free press. 新唐人记者王凯迪，美国首都华盛顿。